I am Blaine Thompson from Rockin' Hot Rod Productions. We are currently doing a fundraiser car show for the Veterans Alliance, I'm trying to raise money for the vets. I myself am an uh, Army vet. I was a meteorologist in the Army back in 75, and now I put on classic cars all over the state. So. We, we love the support that we're seeing today for our vets. There's 14 different car shows going on, and we have the largest one in Salt Lake right now. So. It just shows that the public really does support our best. Ms. Will Jackson, um, car is a 1932 Deuce Coupe. We originally had my dad that built this car. He used to build hot rods back in the day built the car long story short the person that he built it for passed away and then we picked up the car from the son actually did the rest of the work on it had it painted um, went through did all the interior so all the work that you see on the car is what we have done to it since we bought it I've had the car for about five years in our side of the family so it's been a fun car fun to come out of the shows for sure I'm Jack Hansen. I own this 41 Ford pickup. I've had it about 18 years, and I really like it. I've done a bunch of stuff to it. There's still a lot of stuff to do it. It just costs more money. Thank you. Lake car is a 37 Ford five-window coupe and it took five years to get it to the status you now see. If you know anything about Fords, this is the first year they put headlights in the fenders. Before they were buckets and on a bar. This is also the first year that they put a alligator uh, hood on it, almost like an alligator lid. So there's a few firsts in 1937 versus the older Fords. Two-door coupe, Five window, they call it, because in 37, they didn't have a back seat. And the salesman used to put all their luggage in there, and so from the front seat forward, it was all open. So that, because that was big door-to-door -door sales in those days. So we put a back seat in it and tried to emulate a 64 Ford. And the reason is because it's curved in there. So that's unique and different. The color is an ivory pearl. It's a 1998 Lincoln Continental color. And it's a lot of fun. My name is Jerome Miles. Uh, what we have is a Pontiac GTO 1966. Uh, I got it for free. <laughs> so I, I didn't do nothing to the car. Uh, the owner that I work, I work for Century Equipment. The owner of my company gave it to me. So I've had it for four months now. I went to one of our other shops in Tennessee and he has a blue one and he let me drive it. And I enjoyed it so much that he just called me one day and was like, hey, Drew, I got another GTO that I want to give to you. And I was like, are you serious? I called him back like twice, like, dude, are you, are you crazy? Did you just give me a GTO? He's like, yeah. I was like, all right. <laughs> so I had to come from Tennessee, went to Cedar City before it came here to me. So I've had it for three months now. Hi, this is Don Kent. This is my 1961 MGA that I bought in 1983 from a Salt Lake Tribune want ads long before internet and all that other stuff. Went down, looked at it, and it was brown car with shag carpet, three quarter inch floors, and a spray can paint job. But it was a sound car, and I knew I was gonna want to restore it, so I bought it. Then it spent about 34, 35 years in storage, hidden under trailers in a trailer, the body shops back in the corner, and finally, in 19, uh, 2016, 
I got invited to come down to Salt Lake Community College and audit a paint class with Hondo John. Didn't know anything about painting, so I learned. And then I did a dinosaur, a, green, a pink dinosaur to a green dinosaur, and then asked if I could bring my car down and change it from brown to white. They says, come on. So I brought it down on 6th Elder. January 2017 and was done by April 24th, 2017 with it all taken apart, all restored and painted, body work, let, letting in on some stuff and ready to go. I had bought for 20 years all the parts for a restoration from all the best people so when I got into it, I had absolutely everything in the world I needed to restore it in a short period of time, which I got to do. Then I've got lots of pictures, clinical in it. Uh, after I took it out of the body shop, paint shop, then I did a month and a half in my in a garage uh, that I had set up to do the interior, electrical, fuel, and all the other components and it was ready for show, the first show at the British Field Days in June 15th of 2017. That's my story, thank you, I'd love to be a vet. <laughs>